Hello everybody and welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII for the PS3. You're probably wondering why I'm outside uh, of the area. There's a reason for that and that's because I was doing some stuff off screen between last episode and this one. Not much got done. Honestly, this is not a very conducive place for the kind of stuff I wanted to get done. But eh. So... Our goal now is to get through this little dungeon. So you remember, they gave us this. <laughs> and it doesn't tell you anything uh, because you have to actually pay to get the thing that you really want, uh, the thing that tells you where you are. But I'm gonna give you a very piece of easy advice. So the difficulty with this place is the fact that the perspective of wherever you go never changes. No matter what happens, it's always this perspective right here behind you pointing in four different directions unless you're somewhere special 84 so our goal is to get to all three of the uh, compass points and then get to the middle super simple super easy right problem is it makes it really difficult to do if your perspective is always changing so the easiest way to do this is to always go right yeah just go right that's all you really have to do. Anytime it gives you an option, go right. You will always end up where you need to end up. And you will end up at each of the compass points, no problems whatsoever. Now, I, I feel like this puzzle is actually well thought out, if only a little bit annoying in the fact that like, it puts you in a position where you're almost kind of told to buy the damn, the damn, uh, the damn thing that tells you where you are because it's otherwise it's almost impossible All right, let's see here. Do I have a free? I have everything equipped. Yeah, everyone's equipped. I did all that already Brr, Who's there? Huh Are you Are you are you what's scaring people off? I mean if you're if you're what's scaring them off I can totally see why really shouldn't like beat him down too hard oh okay he's getting back hell well there's a really easy way to fix this nonsense float you see he's an earth elemental so he's gonna get health from just being on the ground by casting float on him his feet are no longer touching the ground and unfortunately he's no longer gonna be getting that nice little bonus so he has Shell, Protect, Berserk, and one other spell that I don't know about. What else do you have on you, good sir? Life. Well, that's nice. I'm not entirely interested in life. I'm going to draw some, though. Protect would interest me more. So Squall, as you know, can hit really, really hard. Now I'm going to let Squall do like most of the work, because he already hits absurdly hard. Oh, float wore off already? Really? They're pretty strong. Oh no, fight's over. I was about to say, float wore off really quickly. Bastards, it ain't over. Got a save point, and this thing goes up. So, uh, for those of you who do not know, we're on the right, we're on the uh, east compass marker. We need to get to the north one. And, if you remember what I told you last time, the easy solution to this puzzle is to go right. Every time, go right. That, that eliminates like 99.99% .99 of any trouble this puzzle could ever cause you because you're guaranteed to end up at any compass marker in order. Now if you went the other way, you might not get there because you'd, you'd be going backwards. So it, that would be a bad idea. Don't go left. But going right, totally cool. Do it. Do it every time. Oh, these guys. Um, That shouldn't be a problem. Right. What do you have? Protect? Uh, 
Oh, he's beefy. He is very beefy. He took way less damage than I was expecting him to take. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Oh, <laughs> Quist, Quisty finished him off. Nice. Excellent. Perfect. Lovely. Let's let's do that more often, shall we? Totally. Um, is there anything else I should probably mention about this place? Not really. There's nothing in this place worthwhile. This is actually a really terrible place if you wanted to get like particular magics. I usually tend to care more about the uh, the base magics. You know, fire, fire, ice, lightning. And so on. So you notice here, this this wall's down. That's because we took out the first room. So we can go into the second room. Ten floats. Nice. And that's all for this room. So, oh, sorry, I keep forgetting forward, not backwards. Ah, uh, perspective. This is actually, did that thing just like respawn already? Are you serious? Did it really? It did not respawn that, there's no way. It really did. Um, as I was saying, the perspective of this place would actually does make for a pretty interesting puzzle. The problem is, is that it'd make for an interesting puzzle if the puzzle was easily figured out by like an average player. An average player probably won't understand why they're not making any progress. Like they're looking at their map, but they're not ending up where they're supposed to end up. That would just seem really annoying to like an average player. Uh, until you really think about it and go, Oh, wait a minute. See, but the thing is, though, I never would have thought of that growing up. Like, growing up, it never would have occurred to me that, you know, the place isn't, the place is not keeping perspective in order, so therefore it's going to, therefore the, therefore my perception of which way I'm going is altered. Oh, right. Excellent. Now, our next location is the middle, but we have to go to the middle from where the entrance is. So this is actually really, we're gonna go right until we get back to where that uh, seed thingy is. You remember the seed, um, uh, the seed badge or weapon or whatever they left behind that we were supposed to find for General Carway. We got to get back to that point. Once we get to that point, it's actually really easy. Because all you got to do is turn back around and just go forward a bunch of screen and you'll be right where you need to be. Yeah, we're back where we need to be. Uh, we're definitely back where we need to be. I'm just gonna look at the seed thing because I am terrible at remembering what the numbers. I think it's like 84, if I recall correctly. But I think it only shows up from this perspective. So if you're if you're coming in, it'll show up because they tell you straight up. But if you're going from the other direction, you won't see it, which is weird. So yeah, 84 is the magic number, and thankfully. If I get to that point this episode, I shouldn't forget because I'll have it on video. Ah. All right, here we are in the middle of the arena. Time for the big boss fight. I say big, but it's not big at all. This is, uh, let's check abilities and make sure we're all learned. Six, three, he's three away, six away, seven away. 11 away. Damn, everyone's so close to learning good stuff, too. Damn. I feel kind of bad that I pulled Diablos off of Mug. He was already like 62 in. I should have kept him on it, but Mug's a 200 point uh, AP commitment. Yo, yo, you back again? Took it easy on you last time, but not this time. 
that this time my, my big bro is with me. N now's your chance to run away, man. Bro! Uh, yeah, bro. Yo, bro, these guys crashed the tomb. Plus, they attacked me. Oh, really? They attacked you? Not bad for a human. Surprisingly small. Yo, yo, bro, th they're making fun of us. Foolish little humans. I'll show you, I'll show you not to judge a book by its cover. Okay. So this is the fun part because I get to do really fucked up shit to these guys and they have no choice but to take it. So they're not really all that powerful, but once again, if you have it, which you should because the game gives it to you, cats float on the big one because he's the one who's doing all the ridiculousness and gaining back health and shit. I don't think either one of them, not one of them had haste, that would be freaking fantastic. Oh, double? Yes, please. Quistus, you're gonna do nothing but draw double. That's all That's all your duty is for this battle, is just draw double. We'll take care of the rest, I promise. See, I don't care. See, if you kill one of them, you can kill them both. I don't think there's an order to this. I hope not, at least. I'm about to just wail on one. Now, if it shows that there is some kind of an order to what you're supposed to do, I will obviously change my strategy to reflect that. But as it stands right now, not getting that, not getting that feel. I need to work on some magic for you, Irvine, because you are you are the weak link here, magic-wise. Everyone else has a nice stock of magic because I've had them forever. Stocking up magic for you, however, is just going to be tedious, time-consuming. I need to do that one of my days off when I'm not working on video content. So we're gonna focus on the big one first, just because he's here. I kind of wish they'd tank Squall, because Limit Break would be fantastical. Bro, I lost. Oh, doggone it, I still have. I'm still, I'm still set to memory on my cursor. God dang it, that's the most inconvenient thing. Like, it's convenient in certain situations, but if you forget to turn it off, you, you basically screw yourself double. She failed one of her draws. She failed twice. Oh, okay. He's still doing the whole get health back nonsense. No, you're not doing that anymore. If you're gonna fight me, you're gonna fight me on my turf. Well, not my turf. I don't. I don't float. So I guess it's more your turf. I guess I haven't really, haven't really come up with the one for that one yet. So you know, I did that huge lecture like ten or so parts ago where I talked about how useless magic was, and like items are just as good. <laughs> only for me to really dig deep and dig into my magic stash that I talked about never touching because I was like, well, I'm never going to need it. Well, you know, we all make mistakes. It happens. Uh, I'm not I'm not against making mistakes. Draw more. Oh my god, really? This was just like for my own personal enjoyment. Oh, come on. No, you're not. I refuse. This game that you play is ridiculous, and I refuse to play it. 
I was hoping Irving would get his limit break, but I don't think he's going to. Well, he's about to shoot himself in the face for all I care. There we go. Took him long enough. Great. There. Because they said R1, because he tells you straight up it's R1. Prepare to get blasted. Brothers defeated? Mighty ones, may we join you? And with that, my friends, you have gained a brand new GF to add to your mighty arsenal. 40 AP? Ugh. I feel terrible. I think everybody learned something. I feel terrible for it being 40 AP. I just didn't think I was going to get that much out of it. Christ. You are quite the powerful ones to have defeated the two brothers. Thanks to you, I am now freed from this cramped stone coffin. However, there is something I have been thinking for a very long time. Is it really necessary to entomb those traveling to the other world? After such a long and tiring journey through life? Receive the Minotaur card. Nice. So, anytime you do this, always go back through and check your abilities. I don't think you're going to get... The problem is, I've already really sort of eaten through a lot of the base GFs that they gave me abilities. Like, a lot of them I've already sort of eaten through at this point. So at this point, I'm really just sort of just biding my time, having them learn, like, silly shit. Tally times 40%, don't care. You're still learning that? Well, you weren't that far into that, were you? You... Treatment? Treatment it is. Absolutely. And brothers, what do you learn? Okay. Ooh, HP 20% cover. Oof. Strength junction. Finally. This needs to go to Quistus, because Quistus is the one here who really freaking needs it. Um, technically, she kind of needs it. Not really. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to take away whatever one is learning her... Yeah, when everyone's learning her HP, she can ditch. You'll have brothers instead. Okay. That's all taken care of, at least. Anyways, guys, that wraps it up. We're done. We can leave. Uh, the GF, now, uh, admittedly, the brother's GF is entirely optional. You don't actually have to get them. You could go... I swear to God, I hate the perspective of this place. I freaking hate it. Uh, you can actually play through this entire game and never get them if you really don't want to. But, I'm not going to do that. Oh, so you can see it from this angle. 84. Huh, interesting. Because I couldn't remember seeing it from the other angle. I guess when you're going straight, they don't have to do anything weird with the rendering tactics for, like, having to render the item. But any other way would be, like, weird. Because you'd have to render it, and it'd be... It'd probably look really weird, too. Oh, these guys are here? What do they have? But they have second-level magic. Which they don't. Ugh, I want second-level magic. But the tactic to get it when out playing the card game is actually really frustrating. And, like, yeah, sure, you can level, but Christ. That's a lot of extra work, man. I gotta level to get that shit. Anyways, guys, I will see you all next time on Final Fantasy VIII for the PS3. And uh, we will continue the actual story of the game. Uh, just to note, when we get back, when I come back for the next episode, I'll be outside of... The, the town. So we're not going to waste our time driving all the way back. I'm going to save a little little time there. You know what I mean? Cut, cut some of the extra work out. Until then, guys, stay tuned. I'm signing out.